turn the, uh, you know, you're going to be out the next day or you just want to make a flip presentation, you've already got a, a keynote or you've got some PowerPoints with your textbook and you want to open them a keynote, you can quickly and easily turn that into a video which students can either watch on their own, whether you upload it to YouTube or to a Google Drive or share it in the iCloud Theater or you just have it uh, available for your sub to play the next day. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I've got just a quick two slide presentation here. I'm going to in Keynote and I'm going to go up with Keynote open and I'm going to click on play and record slideshow. Now with the slideshow recording I can see my recording options down here at the bottom and I'm going to click the red button and my presentation is going to start to record. So I've got three, two, one. Now it's recording. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to talk about my presentation and I can click slides and basically anything that happens in your slideshow will will sit there and go forward until you get to the end of the show and you stop the recording. Now you can scrub back and you can see how it goes or whatever and you can play it. You can see what it's going to look like. Three, two, one. Now it's recording. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to talk about click out. Now go back up to play and you can uh, you can rehearse it, you can clear the recording and things like that. Now if you want to save that as a movie you take the you go to Keynote, File, Export to QuickTime and you can choose Slideshow Recording or just a self-playing presentation since we narrated on that. We're going to choose Slideshow Recording, click Next, give it a title choose where to save it export it once it creates the movie it's going to generate it save it to your desktop or wherever you told it to then you can upload it to the video platform of your choice or drop it into iMovie for uh, addition or to use for other projects and things of that nature so that's how to create that and hopefully that helps